Okay, today I think we're going to talk about the robot, which doesn't have a name, but it's in the uh, 12 chapter serial from 1934 called The Vanishing Shadow. Basically, there's this uh, scientist who invents a lot of things. One thing he invents is a machine that can make you invisible, but unfortunately, your shadow can still be seen. Anyway, he also invents this robot, which we're looking at the feet, and it's going to uh, start panning up. I'm at uh, 6 minutes and 50 seconds in on the link I'll give you for this show if you want to watch it. It does make a neat uh, beeping sound every second. And coming up to the head up here. Here's the guy controlled. He's got a really cool uh, arm control unit. And in just a second here, they'll flip it around and show you all the workings in the, uh, on the inside of the robot. Well, supposedly, it's a special effect shot. Obviously, it's a cardboard robot with a... Here we go. He's going to open the door. This is on the back. And look at all those goodies in there. Things spinning around and love that. And I think this part is about to end. But they need to show you it marching around and everything because you don't really see the robot again until about chapter 11. Okay, so let's pause that. And let's uh, shoot up to about 3 hours and 35 minutes. Uh, 3 hours and... 34. I'm getting close. Here we go. I know we all bought oh, goody. Get to see an ad. Well, what can we do about that? I can block it, I guess. I can mute it. And we can skip it. Okay, always well, robots uh, scaring some horses. Basically, by the time you get this far in the movie, the uh, scientist guy that made the robot and the vanishing thing has had a head injury. Uh, and now he's gone kind of mad. He has the robot chasing everyone, and he you hear him hysterically laughing with a manic laugh in the background. At any rate, I thought this might be a fun robot to uh, 3D print and do a little battery-operated version. I've always have liked it. You can find some still images of it if you want to search online for the vanishing shadow. Like I say, I've checked into it. The robot is not credited as having a name in the film. Um, basically on and off, oops, see, there's the shadow. The guy had vanished and he's just reappeared. Here's the device that makes him invisible, except for your shadow. He hadn't figured out how to make the shadow uh, go invisible yet. But anyway, all the way from uh, this end of... Uh, chapter 11, clear up into uh, the chapter 12, the robot will come and go. Here he is in the bushes. He's getting a send him in. He's going to beat the crap out of this guy in just a second. And let's see if we can zoom ahead to where that happens. Here we go. Maybe this is where they can hear the guy laughing. I don't remember. I do like that beeping though. I mean, you got to remember, this is 1934, so it kind of lets you know where a lot of the toys from the 50s and everything, where they would have sounds and uh, the boilerplate kind of body and everything. Bullets aren't going to stop that, uh, that robot. But he was actually calling him a robot, too, in this 1934. So and the name was already uh, common at that point. Uh-oh. It's kind of weird. They cut to the guy in the chair and the door being banged in. They cut to the robot just walking in the house. A little bit of a continuity problem there. Look at them grippers. 
So he, he's, uh, he's got that really cool arm control unit. And there isn't a whole lot more of the robot left in the movie at this point. So, there you have it. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to tackle this project next. I'm um, playing around with how small I can make it since it's such a tall robot. I need to uh, make everything as compact as possible so it isn't too big to display on shelves and stuff like that. But. Uh, the Vanishing Shadow, 1934, 12 part serial movie, The Robot from it. I guess I, I've always just called it The Vanishing Shadow Robot. I think we'll have to go with that.